In this Willwood solid axle offset video, we're going to share with you how to properly record the critical measurements needed to determine which rear brake kit will fit your vehicle. Let's get started. We're going to cover two different rear ends, a big Ford and a Chevy 1012 bolt with a C-clip, and show details of each one. First, you'll need to remove all existing brake components and the axle to expose the axle housing flange. The first measurement we'll take is the distance from center to center of the bolt holes horizontally and then the same center to center of the holes vertically. You may use a tape measure, but we prefer to use 6 inch dial caliper indicators since these measurements need to be precise. Record your results and replace the axle. Also make sure your bearing is securely attached. Next, measure the outside diameter of the axle register. Again, using calipers will be more precise than a ruler. Record your results and then move to the widest part of a wheel stud on the face side of the axle and record that as well. With the axle and bearing in position, we're now going to measure the axle offset from the face of the axle to the axle housing flange, not the bearing. This measurement ensures the caliper will center over the rotor, so accuracy is very important. Attach a straight edge to extend the plane of the flange outward so we can achieve an intersection with a perpendicular line from the face of the axle. Record the distance, and we now have the dimensions needed to identify the proper flange on the Willwood Disc Brake website for this style rear end. Now let's look at a Chevy 10 12 bolt rear end. After removing the cover and draining the oil, you need to remove the pinion shaft screw and pinion shaft. Push the end of the axle inward to loosen any tension on the C-clip. Remove the clip and slide the axle out to expose the housing flange. Our first measurement here is the largest diameter part you see on this side of the housing flange. In this case, it's the shoulder ring right up against the flange. Yours may be different. Measure the largest diameter piece you find, and it may be just the tube itself. Put the axle back in place and secure it with a C-clip. Then reinsert the pinion shaft and screw. Now measure the OD of the axle register and the widest part of a wheel stud on the facing side of the axle. To measure the axle offset, push the axle in all the way. Use a straight edge against the housing flange and measure a straight line from the face of the axle. Record your findings. An important second step with C-clip rear ends is to pull the axle out and take a second measurement. The difference is called axle end play, and if it exceeds 20 thousandths of an inch, please call Willwood for assistance. Now that we have our measurements, we can visit the Willwood Disc Brakes website and identify the correct housing flange as the starting point for finding the correct brake kits to choose from. Note. You should never use shape to identify a housing flange. Always use the measurements learned through this procedure. There are no shortcuts. If you need further assistance, please contact our technical support department.